you have been speaking about the Muslim village has any Muslim village been established as yet we myself and my students we have plans to establish only two only two and we hope that these would be models the Muslim village has to be out of the city out of the city in the remote countryside what you call in Malaysia Kampung Kampung I hope the people in France and Britain will learn the word Kampung now it's a nice word Kampung meaning village Malay word for village it has to be the remote village so it poses no threat to the city we're not threatening you are you so scared of us that you would not allow even a few of us to go and live in the remote countryside shame on you Are you gonna send the police after us in the remote countryside simply because we want to live with the Muslims in a different way from you is that your democracy mashallah that's all we want to do to live in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah not to be preaching Islam all the time to establish Islam so this is a micro Islamic community we do not have the Khilafah but we are a people who in our hearts are loyal to the Khilafah we do not have loyalty to your modern secular state our loyalty is to Islam and to the Khilafah and we have confidence that Khilafah is going to come back tomorrow when Imam al-Mahdi emerges what do we do in the meantime in the meantime we establish micro khilafa small communities living very peacefully in the remote countryside we're not going to touch your money your bogus your fraudulent your haram paper and electronic money no in our kampung we're going to bring back the sunnah money when we talk about sunnah money they don't even understand governor of central bank doesn't know the subject they didn't teach him at university <laughs> what is sunnah money one village is being established in cape town by my students and the second one in my caribbean island of trinidad but there are many here in malaysia who love the idea there is a sister I don't know if she's present here tonight she's just 26 years of age and she's already bought land in the remote countryside and she has another sister who's joined with her and they got a vehicle in which you can transport animals and these two women are taking animals into that their little kampung because of this idea of the Muslim village right here in Malaysia there's another sister who came to me these are women eh? not men these are women she wants to establish and she's probably going to be listening to this lecture on YouTube and mashallah for her she wants to establish she heard me talk about a weekend Muslim village so families will come on the weekend Yomul Juma, and then they spend the weekend and then they return huh, to their home before you have to start a work for the next week so she wants to establish this weekend village in Jandabai hmm? and I say mashallah what a beautiful place and what a beautiful idea you don't have to establish a new village from scratch 
No. I get so many emails and many of them from Europeans and Americans, Germans, French, Holland. Sheikh, we want to come to your village. <laughs> I say go to any village where Muslims live. And you must have a joy in your heart to live with your own Muslim brothers and sisters. Don't run away from them. Go to any village located in the remote countryside. And then when you get there, try very gently to transform it into a Muslim village. You know you're in a Muslim village when you get rid of the paper money and you're using Sunnah money. And if you fail, then go to another village. 